Hi, uh, this is a response to Anna, and for all of the very well-meaning, well-intentioned, yet um, misguided uh, anti-abortion people who might be watching. Um, Anna, I only got through maybe three of your arguments. Um, first off, you said something about the child being a child and you're always before conception and I've heard that a lot and the other day I was out in my garden and of course I can't find them now but I don't think I need the visual cue I basically have fertilized seeds that I'm gonna plant next spring and although they're fertilized like an egg is fertilized with sperm I don't really expect um, more than like 70% if I'm lucky to actually become a plant um, so I think that's a very good metaphor for why um, something that is inside of me that it cannot live on its own and is actually much better suited for our society as stem cell research. Um, I won't go into all that right now. The, my next point was that we are taking the choices away from the children not the choices away from the women. Um, I don't think that, in my case, um, my child would have chosen to come into this world um, had he known what um, he or she would have had to do with. Oh heck, I've had two, so it could be a he and a she. Um, anyways, what made my abortion story horrible is that I live in California, a normally very liberal, open-minded state. Medi-Cal pays for abortions, which is great. It's so great. However, um, I'm disabled and I'm on Medicare, and thanks to people like you, as I said, well-intentioned, misguided, I, I faced a lot of obstacles in a very difficult time in my life. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this because you keep trying to pass it again, but there is no, there's a law, no federal funding goes towards abortions. So therefore, since I was on Medicare and not Medi-Cal, I had to jump through hoop after hoop after hoop, and finally, I think a day, maybe two, yeah, it had to be two because it was the two-day procedure at that point, um, I finally got to get rid of all the sickness that comes along with being pregnant, um, not acting up to my normal 100% ever. Um, hey, anyone who's been pregnant, I don't have to preach. But it's very naive of you um, and very short-minded. Um, you had another argument I can't even think of. It was so silly. Um, sorry. Um, none of your arguments really well, they are only two-minute clips. I guess you can't get too much into them. However, I, from experience, have a belief that pro-life people are pro-life until it leaves the womb. You don't want to support health care. You don't want to support education. You don't want to support, heck, getting your next-door neighbor's kid a baseball mitt if the mother is a waitress and single mom with no child support and heaven forbid you have to shell out of your hard working money for a baseball mitt for that kid, let alone health care. Anyways, then get to age 18, you send them off to war to die. So how pro-life is that? Um, so please stop calling yourselves pro-life, um, especially when you have people murdering doctors um, that's very um, anti-life. And um, I actually have a request. Um, there are too many, too many unwanted, unloved, good children out there that need families, need love, need support. And the next time you think about popping out another kid, why don't you go down to an adoption agency? I mean, especially if you got five or six of them hanging around already. I mean, I'm sorry this sounds mean, but... I just feel for the kids in those homes that are feeling completely unloved, unwanted, while religion is telling people to have as many kids as possible. Yeah, that was great when the earth 
was barely populated we barely made it out of africa at that point or maybe we were connected i don't know but um we needed to populate the earth and now the earth is overpopulated um mother nature is taking care of that herself unfortunately for the rest of the human species um i don't expect us to be here um in greater numbers than about 10 percent 20 percent maybe the experts are saying in the next decade um but oh they're science so why don't we go back to the bible and find where cain murdered his brother and then slept with his mother so therefore um the mythology goes that our great 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 times whatever is a murderer and incest but i guess the mother was well they both were he was old enough it wasn't molestation but Either way, my great-great-great-grandfather, if I believe you, was involved in incest and was a murderer. So how pro-life is that? <laughs> and I'm sorry, I was trying to keep this um, as friendly a conversation as possible, and I welcome any um, well-thought-out, educated rebuttals. i always up for learning new things, and thank you very much for your time. Have a good one. Good night.